Good morning. I'm uh, coming in from Riyadh in Saudi Arabia in the most incredible, luxurious hotel that my hosts have graciously put me in. It's called the Moven Pick, I think. And it's just wonderful. I mean, just having breakfast here is like a feast. I mean, there's so many different options you could eat for hours. I've been researching the principles around elegant, successful businesses, and there seems to be a pattern, a sort of process that these businesses follow, and I wanted to share them. Um, so there's four, in fact, and uh, the first one is, how do we move from communicating to both our employees and our consumers and start connecting with them? From communication to connecting, from just shouting out to actually understanding and um, really diving deep into what the needs are and listening more. Uh, in my video two days ago from Kuwait, I spoke about people that don't listen as optometrists, eye specialists, people that are always continuously talking about themselves. And if you think about businesses that are continuously shouting and communicating, they're all optometrists. Nobody's actually listening and taking into account what the consumers and employees want. The second principle is to move from training to educating. And you might think they're similar or the same thing, but they're actually not. Training is showing people how to do something. Educating is showing how people why to do something. And people that are being trained will always have a job, but people that have been educated will be their boss. So how do you go about stopping training and starting educating both your consumers and your employees? Thirdly, how do we stop selling and start positioning? In other words, how do we keep tr stopping trying to push sales continuously onto people, but rather start to position ourselves as experts, as people that are there to advise, uh, the people that are there to give their long-term solution and see an elegant approach in the sort of process? And lastly, really successful people are not about creating success, but about creating significance, is how do we bring about a purposeful business, a purposeful process so that we attach significance to how we are going about living a life rather than just success. I hope you enjoy those. I'm about to give my third keynote in three days, and tonight I fly to Jordan, and I'm spending the weekend in a dream come true in Petra the city of roses, the ancient land in the middle of the desert. And I find it quite funny because I've just come out of Africa Burn, which was another desert, and I've been called to another desert uh, in the Middle East. I'll be making a video from there. So ciao from Saudi Arabia.